You are listening to the Manifested Sis Podcast, a safe space for women of color to explore all things manifesting, wellness, self-care, and personal development. You are always manifesting, and now you can do it intentionally and consciously to create the life of your dreams. Each episode gives you actionable tips and strategies from the spiritual to the practical that will help you get from where you are to exactly where you want to be with grace and ease. Thanks for tuning in. Here's your host, intuitive life coach, Danny Faust. Hello, welcome back to the Manifest It Sis podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I am Danny Faust, your host and coach. And this episode is bringing you a quick tip that is going to have long lasting results and amazingly quick manifestations for you. I hope you dig it. I want to just warn you that I do say hello, hi, hi, hello a few times within this audio because this is from a Facebook live recording. If you want to be able to be on those live recordings, feel free to follow me on Facebook at Coach Danny Faust. And if you try what I suggest in this audio, I really would love it if you slide on into my DMs and let me know how it went. On Instagram, I am the Danny Faust, and I look forward to hearing from you. And I love, I gotta say, I love that I am already starting to hear from some of you with questions and ideas, and I want to thank you to everyone who has already filled up the questionnaire about Q&As for me to answer live. I just really appreciate the feedback, guys, and I love that this is feeling more like a community than ever before. So we're going to hop into the audio about uh, this quick manifesting tip. But before we do, I have to let you know that this episode is sponsored by me. I am a life and wellness coach with a focus on manifesting your best life. So hop into my DMs or shoot me an email at danny at okdanny.com to check me out. You can go also to bit.ly slash manifest with Danny. And if you're looking to get unstuck feel more fulfilled, live in your purpose, or just figure out how to manifest what you want faster and with ease and more alignment. I'm your girl. It's what I do. It's what my clients love to do now that they've gotten the tips and tricks and strategies from me. So holler at me. We're going to hop into this episode now. I hope you dig it. And again, forgive me for the hellos in between. All right. Love y'all. I'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Hi, friends. It's me, Danny from okdanny.com. I am a life and wellness coach with a focus on manifesting. I am also a metaphysical practitioner, meaning I do readings and energy clearing, Reiki, and all that good stuff. Feel free to reach out to me if you're looking for a coach or if you're looking for a reading and see what spirit has to say. Okay, listen, today's tip, it's a quick tip, I hope it's a quick tip. (laughs) We're talking today about something that it's easy to do. You just have to be kind of mindful to recognize to do it or remember to do it. And it has very long reaching effects for something that's so simple and easy. Okay, so what it is, it's called, I've seen it called multiple things, but I call it segment intending. And I think that's the first way I heard it referred to. Hi. Um, So segment intending is basically setting intentions for small time frames. And, And I'm talking small like when I'm done with making this video, I'm going to go have a call with a client and it's going to go well. She'll have some ahas. We'll laugh. We'll cry. It'll be better than cats. That's my intention for the next little segment of my life. That's an hour right there. So that's a simple, (laughs) very simple and easy um, example of segment intending. What you can do is at any moment in your life, set an intention. It could be a little 15 minute conversation, but you set the intention before it that, okay, in this conversation, um, I'm going to hear his his complaints clearly and I'm going to communicate effectively with him and we're going to resolve and squash this issue intention set boom and you can do it with all areas of your life okay 
what it does, why it's so, hey, why it's so powerful is, well, a few reasons. The main one, they're all the main one. <laughs> they're all really good reasons. Okay, so the first is that you feel better. You feel more capable and in control and just with that renewed intention you are just like ready you're like shit i'm ready for this next segment of my life <laughs> if it's like driving to work you can set the intention that you know there'll be no accidents on the highway you'll get to work on time it'll be just an easy breezy drive into work and and then the line at dunkin donuts is going to be short like <laughs> you can put whatever you want in it um so you feel good that's a great byproduct of it as well you feel in control and then you also feel just good because you're not intending for bad things right <laughs> i hope you're not uh, the other great thing is that it reminds you that you are a powerful creator because it's a very short segment of time which means you are most likely going to get what you want especially if you're setting setting the intention for a conversation it puts you in that right space so that you are all in for being a good communicator and making sure you're heard and making sure you're listening actively to the person or whatever it is that you set the intention for. I set, I do segment intending with my children, especially if we're going to play a game <laughs> because emotions go a little haywire with playing games with my kids. Um, they're just, yeah, <laughs> it can go many different ways. So I quietly set the intention that it's going to be a peaceful game that ends with no tears, no one storming off, no one jealous. Like <laughs> I set this, like, we're going to have this peaceful time. There'll be lots of laughter. We'll feel like a, a nice close family. I set those intentions and usually 99% of the time it works out really well. So you feel you were you are reminded that you can create your life and co-create your life whatever you believe you are reminded that you can manifest what you want because you've just done it on that little that little segment of your life and then you do it again and there's no limit you can segment in 10 your whole day away and you can do it actively in the moment or if you are a planner you can write your planner out, like especially if you're a time blocker, you can do it in your planner and then just kind of write the emotions that you want to feel or the state you want to be in next to each thing on your planner. That's another way to do segment intending, which puts that energy around that moment of your life. And I, this has come up recently with about four of my clients. This has kind of come up naturally as a tip, so I figured it's coming up for multiple people. Let me share it broader um, with all of you. So I hope it resonates. It's really easy to do. You can set segment intentions for any area of your life. The only requirement is that it makes you feel good. It puts you in a, a more calm, aligned, centered space. Like you're not gonna set the intention that when this trick comes through the door, I'm gonna molly whop her. I mean, you could, <laughs> you could, if that's really what you needed to do. <laughs> I'm gonna curse him out so bad when he comes home. Like, I mean, sure. But the point is that you can set it for however you wanna feel, set it for the, the energy that's going to be in the place that you're entering or how something is gonna work out and or how you respond which is more important, how you respond to whatever's gonna happen in that situation. You're going into a meeting with your boss, right? You can set that intention before you hit the door, like, okay, he's gonna hear me. Whether or not I get the raise, he's gonna recognize my contribution. I'm gonna respond positively to his feedback, whatever it is you want, you know, and, and set that. That way you leave that, that meeting with your boss and you're feeling like, okay, well, if you got the raise, you're like, okay, yay. But if you didn't get the, the raise, you still are in control of how you responded, the energy that you went in there with and, and did the meeting with, and you still leave in a place of positive contentment and feelings of control and capability. It also reminds you, segment intending, also reminds you that the universe has your back or God, the angels, you know, the all, the most high, whoever you pray to, whatever you want to call, you know, the all, <laughs> it has your back. He has your back. She has your back, whatever. And segment intending helps you remember that source has your back because you have the proof right there in a really quick 
like what's the word that they say for like millennials we want things quick we want instant gratification segment intending is like instant gratification when it comes to knowing that you can manifest trusting that the universe has your back and you see the results right away so I hope I drove it home <laughs> well enough I just yeah try it try it like right now you can set the intention whatever you're gonna go do that you're gonna feel calm and relaxed doing it or that you might have a happy surprise at the end of it or whatever you want whatever you want you can have and whatever you want wants you too so once you set that intention you're putting that out there and it is a completely possible reality so whatever you want in the world you can have in a small little segment or your whole entire big ass life so just wanted to share that tool little tip and trick and i hope you try it if you try it please let me know how you like it it's a tip that I kind of forget to tell people about, but since it came up a lot, I was like, let me tell everybody. <laughs> so let me know how you like it if you try it. And um, yeah, try it with your little one. And you know what? Have your little ones try it too. Okay, I'm back in. So segment intending is also something that you can teach kids. If you're a teacher, you can teach your class and you can do it as a group. If you're a teacher or if you work with a group or, a, or parishioners or whatever, you can have the group set the intention. Whenever I do a, a master class or I'm coaching a group, I we start with setting the intention that in this hour, whether or not you've heard these concepts before, whether or not this is brand new or old hat to you, you're gonna something's gonna hit just right. You're gonna have an aha moment. You're gonna write down a tidbit that changes your life. You're gonna really be impacted by something. You're gonna walk away with one nugget at least. I set that intention for every session that I do. So take that as you will. You can do it with your children. And it doesn't have to be so explicit with kids. Like with my children, we do it. But I'm just like, hey, Rowan, how do you want this to play out? It doesn't have to be like, we're going to do a manifesting session now, Rowan. What would you like to intend for this segment? I mean, you totally could, wherever your kids are resonating. But I'm just like, wait, how do you want this to work out? Especially if he's getting to a heightened emotion state. How do you want this to play out? What's the best case scenario for you right now? and I make him verbalize it. And then we go forward and I try to make it happen as best as he can so he knows that he's in control and he's got power and can make what he wants to happen happen. You feel me? Okay, now I'm done for real, I swear. Thank you guys for watching. Try it, it works. All right, bye guys and happy manifesting. Oh, come visit me at the Lifestyle Redesign Lounge. It's my group on Facebook and listen to the Manifest It's This podcast that I always forget to mention. Bye. <laughs>